Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video of ChatGPT plugins module, where in this video we'll discuss another third party plugin of ChatGPT that is web request plugin. So yeah, if you ever wondered how to supercharge your web applications with the power of artificial intelligence, so yeah, you are in the right place. So before we dive into the details, uh, let me just tell you briefly what exactly is web request ChatGPT plugin. So the web request ChatGPT plugin is a third party application that basically enables uh, the GPT language model to interact with the external APIs. So with this plugin, uh, users can enter a URL and access information from various websites without any knowledge cut off. So yeah, with this amazing chat GPT plugin, you can now browse through any website or, you know, get information from that URL or website without losing your location or going to that website with the help of just simple plugin in your chat GPT plus. And yeah, it will actually allow your application to communicate with servers and it will retrieve all that data for you that you're looking for by performing various actions. So yeah, if you talk a bit more, here's a quick working of web request chat GPT plugin. So the web request plugin works by integrating chat GPT into web apps and after that it sends user input via web request to chat GPT API and after uh, chat GPT get AI generated response in JSON format and then it pairs and use the response in the web app and it will show you on the screen without going to that website or without you browsing to that page. So yeah, here are the few of the benefits of the web request plugin. So yeah, with that, you can now seamlessly integrate into the web applications and it is very customizable AI behavior with system level instructions. And by using this amazing plugin, you can now do real time interaction for instant responses. And you can also use cases for personalized experience in a very versatile way. All right, yes, yeah, so now let's not waste any time and see all that with the help of a lab demonstration. All right, so here I am with my chat GPT plus open. So first of all, let's see how to integrate the web request plugin into your chat GPT plus. So yeah, first of all, you need to go to the chat GPT four. You need to make sure your plugins beta option is enabled. And after that, you need to go to this plugins option, scroll all the way down to the plugin store. And yeah, just going to type here uh, the plugin name that you want to integrate, which is in my case, web request and yeah you can simply install that mine is already installed but you can always install that by hitting uh, this green install option and yeah after that your plugin will be enabled automatically so yeah now let's just go ahead and see a few of the real life examples of how you can get help from this amazing plugin in your chat GPT plus so yeah for this uh you have basically two cases let's just say for the first case you provide a url or a website link to chat GPT and you know you don't want to scroll all the way in that and you want ChatGPT to scrap all that detail and find the best details or best output for you of your desire. So yeah, for the first case, we're going to do exactly the same. So yeah, I'm just going to give a URL to ChatGPT, which is right here. And after giving few spaces, I'm just going to give my prompt here to with this URL, suggest me the top five highest paid jobs in the world. So yeah, this is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to provide my URL over here and I don't want to scrap in that. I don't want myself to dig into the details. So yeah, I'm just going to provide a prompt here and ChatGPT will now help us to find the details for me as per my desired output. So yeah, let's just now go ahead and hit enter and see the output for that. So yeah, as you guys can see, as soon as I hit enter, ChatGPT is now finding the details for me with the desired URL that I just provided, which is over here. And in that, it's helping me find the details for me. So yeah, as you guys can see, we did get the output for that. So it's showing me here are the top five highest paying jobs according to the data from the website you provided. So yeah, if I can show you guys, this was basically the website I provided to ChatGPT, which was basically, you can say, top 100 highest paying jobs in the world. And in that, ChatGPT actually scrapped all those details for me and you know summarize me with the modified top five highest paid jobs in the world so this is exactly how this web request plugin works so yeah if you're gonna go ahead and move to our second case so let's just say in your second case you're not providing any url to chat gpt okay so you just want to grab any details about any scenario or any condition that you're looking for so yeah let's just type here a prompt without any url reference or without any detail and say chat gpt to suggest me uh, the best places to visit in Italy. So yeah, as you guys can see over here, I did not provide any information or any reference or kind of a URL website to ChatGPT. So let's just see whether in this case, web request plugin will work or not. So let's just hit enter and see the output for that. 
So yeah, as you guys can see, I didn't provide any URL. Even then, the web request plugin is working absolutely fine. And, and it's actually a scrapping all the details for me by its own by searching URLs online through APIs. And yeah, here is the output for that. So if you can see over here, it did provide a couple of the recommendation places I can visit in Italy. So yeah, and after that, in the end, it provided the URL to me by its own. And I can simply open this URL if I want. And I can simply browse through that and get more information about the best places to visit in Italy. So yeah, these are basically two of the cases or scenarios by which you can use the web request plugin so yeah basically that was it for today's video i hope you guys liked it and i'll see you in the next one take care bye bye